from that this project started. Those six mirror blanks available to the Smithsonian and the university were unusually lightweight. Instead of solid glass, the mirrors were formed with thin silica front and back plates fused to an 11 inch thick drum shaped core divided into segments like an egg carton. Each 72 inch blank weighed only 1200 pounds or about one third that of a conventional mirror of comparable size. To prevent the extremely thin front surface from being cut through during the final grinding process, the entire mirror blank was heated in a special oven and slumped over a template so it took on the approximate shape of its final curve. The roughly shaped disks were then ground and polished at the university's Optical Sciences Center in Tucson, taking great care so that each of the six disks would have nearly identical curvatures. After testing the finely polished glass blanks to check that the same paraboloid shape had been achieved on each, the staff of the Optical Sciences Center fitted the disks to the large metal cells that would eventually hold them in place on the telescope's optical structure. The finished disks were sent on a short trip up another mountain to the nearby Kitt Peak National Observatory, where their concave front surfaces would be given reflective coatings of aluminum. At Kitt Peak, the mirrors were carefully cleaned and given a final check for any imperfections. Then, two at a time, they were inserted into a giant vacuum tank where aluminum was vaporized onto the glass.